In the world of finance, beta is a term that's thrown around quite often. What exactly does it mean? When we're referring to the beta of a stock, we are comparing its volatility and its price movements over a given period of time relative to the market. So for example, a company that is in the S&P 500 will be compared relative to the overall S&P 500. If the stock is twice as volatile as the market, then it will be assigned a beta of 2. The market or the thing that you're comparing it to is given a beta of 1.0. And anything that's more volatile will be above 1 and anything that is below and less volatile will be below 1. You see, beta is used as a proxy for risk. Riskier stocks, say weed stocks for example, swing up and down like crazy. And the more they swing, the higher the beta is. At the same time, more conservative stocks have a much smaller beta because they are safer and therefore they react on a much smaller degree to events. So if a stock has a beta of 2, it moves twice as much relative to the market. If a stock has a beta of 1, it moves in the same fashion as the market. And if a stock has a beta of 0.5, its volatility and price movements are half of what the market is. Keep in mind, beta changes, it doesn't stay fixed over time. And that's because companies change, markets change. What was once a very volatile penny stock may slowly start to emerge and transition into a blue chip. And as we know, blue chips relative to penny stocks are less volatile. Here's a couple of companies you may know and their respective betas. As you can see, on the left side, we have more conservative low beta stocks. And on the high side, we have more volatile tech stocks. You can look at beta on an individual basis, or you can look at your overall portfolio's beta. Maybe you have some high beta stocks and some low beta stocks. In that case, the weighting of your stocks relative to your overall portfolio comes into consideration. You can try and observe the beta of the stocks you own or your overall portfolio, and it'll probably give you a good idea of the relative riskiness of the securities that you own. Thanks for listening, guys. Give us a like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you hear. See you next time.